Do you want to start making money from your fundraise investment right away? Or are you willing to sacrifice short-term gains in order to receive much higher returns in the long run? Whichever type of investor you are, this video is for you. I will tell you all you need to know about three different investment plans that Fundrise offers and how this very important decision can impact your gains coming up. If you're new to the channel, my name is Trey and I have over $623,000 invested in stocks, crypto and real estate. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out my entire Fundrise playlist linked in the description below. Also, if you decide to invest with Fundrise, make sure to open a new account using my referral link below. For a limited time only, Fundrise is giving $50 to anyone who opens a new account and funds it with just $10. Now, let's get started. As can be seen from this beautiful chart here, Fundrise offers three different types of investment plans. So there's something for pretty much everyone. All three of these plans offer returns in terms of dividends and appreciation. In short, any profit you make in terms of dividends comes from rental properties or interest earned on loans that Fundrise gives to land developers. Returns in terms of appreciation, however, are derived from intrinsic increase in value of certain properties that may have been improved or newly constructed from scratch. First, let's go over the supplemental income plan. As can be seen, about 80% of the returns in this plan will be derived in terms of dividends, right here, 80% income-focused assets, because your money will be invested into income-generating assets, aka rentals and interest on loans. Appreciation will still be a part of your portfolio, but only at 20 to 30%, as can be seen here, growth-focused assets. Supplemental income plan will produce the most consistent returns and you will start seeing these returns almost immediately after your investment. However, your overall returns will be much less over a 5 to 10 year period. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on details here and here you could scroll down and see all the projects that are currently producing fixed income for Fundrise investors. So if you scroll down, it pretty much tells you all the different types of projects. There's 97 of them that are currently are part of a supplemental income investment plan. Supplemental income plan suits those investors that need consistent monthly income to help with their day-to-day -day activities or possibly those investors that want to use this income to invest into other investment vehicles. Dividends can either be reinvested or be put directly into your bank account and used at your discretion. This plan also works well for short-term investors that know that they won't stick with Fundrise for a long term, at least a five-year period. Or it also works for a retired individual that wants to live off of dividends. Next, I want to talk about my favorite and highly recommended investment plan called the long-term growth. This plan will produce about 80% of your returns in terms of appreciation. If you scroll down here, 80% and just 20% in terms of dividends right over here. This plan concentrates on projects that will increase in value over time, either due to project improvement or a demographic change of a neighborhood over time. Long-term growth plan will produce very low or even no returns for a year or two, but will reward the investors in later stages of the investment life cycle by producing oversized returns that are almost double those in the supplemental income plan. As can be seen on this graph here, this is the long-term growth right over here on the right. As you could see, it starts off slow 
and then just takes off around year five or so. And if we see here, this is the supplemental income plan. It steadily goes up over a period of time. And as you can see, the total return here is just two dashes, while in the long-term growth investment plan, it's almost at four dashes. So the returns in the long-term growth portfolio tend to be a lot higher the longer you hold your investment. Most of appreciation returns are made when the property is sold. Please know that you will still receive returns in dividends in the first year or so. So it's not like you will see no increase in your portfolio value in the beginning if you choose the long-term growth portfolio. My personal suggestion is if you're going to invest with Fundrise, you should do long-term growth portfolio. And again, we're just going to click on details here. Uh, and here you will see all the projects that are inside this long term growth portfolio. There's currently 72 projects. And please know that a lot of these projects, they tend to overlap the supplemental income investment plan, the balanced investment plan and the long term growth investment plan. Long term growth investment plan is for investors who have a long term mindset and do not need any of the invested funds or the returns in the next 5, 10 or 15 years. It is for younger, more patient and low time preference individual who are sure they will stick with Fundrise for the future. I highly recommend this plan as the long term returns are just too juicy to pass up for short term gratification. And finally, let's discuss the balanced investment plan, which is exactly what it sounds like. It is a little bit of both worlds, roughly 50% of the returns are from appreciation and the other 50% are from dividends. During the first few years, this plan offers lower returns than the supplemental income, but higher returns than the long-term growth plan. As can be seen on this chart right in the middle, the total return is somewhere between the other two extremes. And this plan is suitable for investors who want to test out the other two investment plans without fully committing to either one. It also suits investors who want some dividends in the bank account to help support their lifestyle or possibly invest in the other investment vehicles and also not completely miss out on the returns of a long-term mindset. The above mentioned plans are considered something called the standard plans. However, when your account reaches $10,000, you're considered to have an advanced account level, which gives you an option to choose something called a plus plan. So you would have a choice between supplemental income plus plan, balanced investing plus plan, and long-term growth plus plan. The objectives of the standard and the plus plans are the same. However, there are a few differences that I'm going to mention here. Standard plans aim to allow investors to primarily invest in e-reads and interval funds, which invest in commercial real estate assets such as multifamily housing. Fundrise e-reads and interval funds are REITs for the tax purposes and are required to distribute at least 90% of their taxable income in a given year to the invest. The plus versions of these plans are intended to offer investors a passive way to invest in more specialized real estate investment strategies. The availability of these offerings may vary over time as different market opportunities present themselves. Essentially, some of the investments in these plus plans are more risky. For example, the Fundrise E-Fund, which is included in the plus plan allocation, is structured as a partnership for tax purposes. For this reason, investors who opt into the plus version of their plan and are invested into the Fundrise E-Fund will receive something called a Schedule K-1 tax reporting document in addition to the 1099. The problem is that this Schedule K-1s are typically only available by the middle of March of the year that the taxes are due. Personally, I'm invested with a long-term growth plus because I thought I would get some sort of, you know, increased return or increased opportunity to more maybe risky investments and unique investments. But unfortunately, I haven't seen any special investments or 
special returns by owning this Fundrise eFund. In fact, Fundrise eFund has been one of the worst performers in my portfolio since 2020. So my suggestion is to just stick with the standard plans. As the only thing you gain from the plus plan is an extra tax form, which you have to wait for three and a half months. And so you cannot do your taxes until halfway through March, which is the end of the tax season. The taxes are due on April 15th. This form is available on March 15th or later. So it's more of a headache than an asset in my opinion. So let me show you this e-fund. Here's this Fundrise e-fund. Uh, and Fundrise, because I do automatic investor, uh, because I do automatic investment, they put 4.5% of my total money invested into this Fundrise e-fund, which is almost $3,300. Now, look at the lousy performance of this e-fund. If we scroll down to the returns here, over a two-year period, all I got was a lousy $65.84. What? Why? I mean, when you hear uh, a plus plan, you imagine, you know, more advanced, more returns, you know, more risk. But this is just... A liability now I will be sticking with this e fund until the you know the the end of 2022 but know that I will be getting out of my long-term growth plus plan going back to the long-term growth plan because I don't want my money to be automatically put into this fundrise e fund meanwhile I'm getting pretty much no returns out of it a very important thing to consider when choosing between standard plans is everyone's favorite taxes a lot of dividends are taxed at your regular income tax bracket. And so those investment plans that produce higher returns in dividends will have a higher tax burden at the end of each year. If you choose a long-term growth portfolio, you will likely pay very little tax year over year until you decide to sell your investment, at which point it will be taxed at capital gains tax rate of probably around 15%. So that's it for me, guys. But I want to know which investment plan will you be choosing? Do you have a long term mindset and patience or do you want instant profits? Will you be choosing a plus plan or the standard plan? Please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Peace. Cheers.